This is part two of a two-part video series on how I designed a transmission line speaker. I'm using uh, SketchUp. If you don't have it, you need to Google it and get it. Uh, and semi-learn how to use it. Basically, the line, uh, the transmission line, gets no smaller than uh, in any one given cross-sectional area, 56.265. Uh, squared inches, and I discussed this in my last video. So if you take the measurement, the height, 4 and 15 sixteenths, and you multiply it by, and I chose an 11 and a half inch uh, depth on my box, that's 56.78. So that's just over the um, the driver's radiating area on the smallest portion of the channel. Um, some of the other things that I did was uh, I was originally going to have a box that would come down like this, like the speaker would be here, and then go into a smaller channel. However, I thought that the air that would come down on this side should be able to bounce off at a 45 degree angle and then start tapering. And same here, if there's air over here and it's coming down, it's able to actually go into the next channel and then slowly taper down rather than just being I was afraid that if there was a channel that come down this way air would come down off of the speaker come off at a 45 and then reflect back and then come back out the, f the face of the speaker I didn't want that <coughs> the 45s in the corners are to reflect all the air to try and make it smoother uh, I've calculated my center line of the transmission line as follows. This is 4 and 15 sixteenths, this channel. I'm going to draw a center line through it. So I knew that I wanted this area to be at least 4 and 15 sixteenths. So when I made these 45s, I drew a line off of the 45 perpendicular to it. 4 and 15 sixteenths. And then I come up like this, parallel to this 45 line. And that's, I made sure that there was enough room for, to keep a 4 and 15 sixteenths channel all the way through the box. And what I would do is I took the center line, like so. I would mark that out. and that would be this would be factored factored into my line length so when I measured the line length it wasn't from here to the 45 to the 45 to the 45 it was actually across this way down on a 45 across 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 and I've actually already deleted the geometry but it ended up looking something like this Another trick that you can use when you design your box is you can actually close it off and then click on draw or tools uh, text click on the inside of the box and it actually gives you the square feet and if you multiply that by uh, the amount of feet that your box is in depth you can actually get the uh, cubic feet so in my case my box was 11 and a half inches deep. So 11 and a half divided by 12 to convert to feet, which is 0.958, and then you multiply that by your 5.1878. 4.97 cubic feet inside of the box. You can actually go back to the formula that we had looked at too inside of Microsoft Mathematics and enter this inside of your formula because you already you know the cubic feet and I think I said 4.5875 maybe and graph that you can see that this amount of area has changed the length of my box 
from our estimate of 96 and an eighth to 98 and a half inches. This box that you see is actually 98 and 3 eighths inches along the center line. If you need to shorten your box, you know that there's three channels in it. In this case, all you would have to do is create a line. If you knew your box had to be shortened by three inches, then you know that the entire uh, model can be shortened by one inch, and that would equal three inches across the entire transmission line because it intersects it at three different points. So what I could do here now is draw another line, one inch over, one inch down, and all we have to do is remove these center lines. Once we remove the center lines, you can select this half and using the move tool, slide it over. And now we've just reduced the size of our box by three inches. Now for the tapered section of this box, what I had to do was simply redraw the taper, like so. Remove the center line and your box is now three inches smaller than it was. And that's how I fine-tune that. Now if you if you really wanted to get anal with it, you could use the tools text, redo the cubic feet, but I found that after you've done that once or twice, the design is actually close enough that it doesn't really change the parameters that much.